Hey everybody, I'm Jody Ganzik and this is the show where we talk about all kinds of new and efficient LED and otherwise lighting and a bit of lighting design for your home, business, wherever. And we tie it together all together with home automation, the internet of things, connected devices, and all that cool stuff you've been hearing about lately. Not necessarily including the Apple Watch, but I'm partial to it and soon we'll all see whether that turns out or not. Anyways, it's another um, light bulb review, an LED light bulb review, this time one that you can get at your local Target store. Now the, um, the previous review I mentioned uh, one that you could also get at, the, at Target uh, and other places. I don't think you can buy this anywhere except Target because it's their own, or there it is, it's their own brand. I can show you close-up uh, photos of it. This is very, very um, basic in terms of the design. Um, it's your run-of-the-mill if you're looking for a 60 watt soft white replacement bulb, this is your guy um, in terms of being the up and up target um, in-store brand. Anyways, um, manufacturers, like I've said on previous episodes, have moved away from the funky fin designs for the heat sink. It's now a smooth design. And generally, you know, the top part, you've got the light coming out of this guy, uh, the top half and the bottom half is the um, the electronic components and stuff like that. Now, um, you would think that it might have an, an impact in terms of if you're looking at it uh, and you've got it um, screwed into a, a lamp and a lampshade. There's a slight shadow on the bottom of the lampshade from the fact that the entire bulb is not actually putting out light, but it's not very noticeable. You can see in this comparison photo where I compare it against my reference bulb, which is the um, Cree. Or actually, I think in the video it was this. Well, whatever. Anyways, this guy puts out um, light in, in every single direction, this guy in most directions, but it's pretty decent. I want to call attention to one item before I get too much into the bulb. Target printed the information, the specs, and their logo in this weird ring around the bottom of the part of the bulb that actually is outputting light. This is weird. Target, you actually did fairly good with this bulb, but this is strange. So if you had this bulb in an exposed fixture in say, um, you know, a, um, I don't know why you would put it in a chandelier, a fancy chandelier, but a generic chandelier you could have it in. You could have these um, or their 40 watt equivalent cousins in a bathroom vanity or something similar that's not gonna have a shade on it. But you've got these weird, look at this image. You get this weird text that shows up. You can even kind of feel it with your finger. It's very weird. But anyways, otherwise it's a pretty decent bulb. But you don't see this text. If you have this in a lampshade, you just don't see the text there. But you do if it's exposed. So that's weird. If it bothers you, don't buy it. Um, this was about $7.50 um, at Target. Uh, it was actually higher than when I bought the other bulb at $5. But that was on a sale. That was the GE bulb. There's a link somewhere, maybe up there, um, for you to take a look at it. Anyways, because I'm not an expert in every single bulb, I use my handy cheat sheet now. Um, so you're saying it's a 60 watt, oh, I'm saying it's a 60 watt equivalent. How much does it cost to run it? Well, it's 9.5 watts to power this bulb at full brightness. So that is less than one sixth the cost of actually, um, or the energy cost to run this bulb at full brightness versus a traditional 60 watt incandescent um, light bulb. So you're saving boatloads of actual um, power and therefore you're going to also, if you replace all of your light bulbs with say this one or something else, you'd say you'd also save lots of money on your electric bill. Now speaking of that, LED bulbs in general put out less heat because it's a totally different technology. The target bulb does put out less heat but when it's been running for 15 or 20 minutes this heat sink will get hot not you know place your hand on the stove burn yourself hot but it's going to get hot warmer than say my reference bulb which is the Cree which is very very lukewarm to the touch um, and the other bulb that we reviewed from Target the GE bulb also was about warm but not hot so here's uh, something about the light quality this is called soft white they term it soft white but on the packaging if you look closer and you can read up on there watch up um, watch on this topic about color temperature. So even though they say soft white and manufacturers use soft white and warm white interchangeably, it's actually 3000 
Kelvin, which is basically uh, the higher the number, the more blue the light, the lower the number, the more red or warm the light is. So the GE bulb that I reviewed in the previous review from um, that you can get at Target and other places turned out to be 2700K. This guy is 3000K. And compared to my reference, I keep looking down at the little table there, this is the reference bulb at 2700, which is very, very warm, a little bit on, almost on the yellowish side from Cree, the four flow. If you look at this in the comparison photo that's on the screen now, you will see that definitely there is a difference where you've got a much brighter white on the right side as the target up and up bulb and a lot more yellowish on the left. So it depends on what's important to you. If you like more white light, sort of like halogen, or you like yellowish light, or maybe you like daylight white. These generally come in multiple types of colors, but the manufacturers do use soft white and warm white interchangeably. So you really have to look to see the Kelvin number. 2700 is going to be more warm. 3000 is going to be more uh, white. Think halogen. So what else, what else, what else? We covered the text, the heat sink, buzzing. That's right, good old buzzing. When you put LED bulbs and others on dimmers, they tend to buzz. Not all of them, but some of them do. Um, back to the reference bulb, the Cree solved part of their buzzing issue last fall with their second generation bulb, but it's still there. And especially if you have a bunch of LED bulbs from perhaps the same manufacturer, and if they all buzz and you have them on a dimmer, it's really going to sound pretty bad. It'll sound like a whole bunch of flies buzzing around or worse. Um, I do have to say that in some ways I'm very impressed by the Target LED bulb. There is virtually no buzzing at all, even at a very low brightness level. So way to go Target on that. And speaking of buzzing and other topics, talking about dimming, let's talk about dimming. Now, um, I have a LED dimming torture test, and I use it on this guy, which is an older smart home uh, first generation lamp link dimmer. Um, there's many types of dimmers out there, these you know slide dimmers, your wall dimmers, every kind of thing. But I know specifically in testing that this guy and this guy, the Cree bulb, um, work very well together and they dim pretty smoothly and it does actually go all the way down to 1%. And if it's important to you for say home theater or just having really cool romantic scenes with dimmers, it's very important for your LED bulbs to work well with your dimmers. So that being said, the LED torture test or the dimming torture test basically is a 30 second dimming cycle and it will prove you know who wins basically. Will one bulb win over the other? So. Let's go check out that dimming torture test right now. This is a, uh, a long dimming cycle um, so we can see the nature of how it dims and especially when it gets down to zero and we're taking it at very, very small steps. In person, the target LED bulb is actually very, very smooth dimming and virtually no flicker, which is really fantastic for a sort of store brand generic bulb. Now you can see the actual light intensity dropping, and it's very smooth. The Cree went all the way down to zero, and so did the target, um, just following the Cree. And here we go, coming back up. They both dim down and come back up very, very smoothly, um, except for the fact that the target bulb is a lot brighter at 1% than the Cree 4-flow reference bulb and they'll come back full up to brightness here. But so far I am pretty impressed by this wonderful little uh, Target up and up store brand bulb. So as you can tell, the uh, dimming on this slider dimmer, it's very, very rough. It's very, very low res, if you will. It's just kind of trying to move it down slowly, not as smooth as you can get on a pre-programmed uh, home automation dimmer. And you'll notice that these um, both tend to pop off right about there and we'll bring it back up. It takes a, quite a bit of um, energy and bringing it up on the slider to get the bulbs to pop back on. And again, uh, dimming compatibility between LED bulbs or, or anything else for that matter, any other type of bulbs, and the dimmer is uh, a, sort of a matchmaking game. And 
this slider dimmer probably is only going to work perfectly with some astronomically priced uh, amazing LED bulb. And as you can see in this comparison photo, down at 1%, the um, Cree, of course, is still glowing just a little bit, um, um, but the target up and up LED bulb is definitely, and I'm reaching for it, here it is, um, <laughs> um, the target LED bulb is definitely um, brighter. Not as bright as what I reviewed previously with the um, GE bulb, but it's definitely brighter at 1%, so I'm not quite getting all the way down there, but it does dim very smoothly, and I was very impressed by that. There's virtually no flicker, no stair stepping, like, you know, kind of like bad resolution dimming, step, step, step. You don't want to see that. Um, I was very, very impressed for this, um, for this um, entry from Target into the LED bulb race. So good on you, Target, for, for doing this, and also good on you for creating packaging that does not need to be completely destroyed when you open it. Um, you can pretty much put this package back together if you decide to return it to Target, and maybe they'll just put it right back out on the sales floor. Or maybe they'll send it back to their own warehouse. But anyways, manufacturers should make packaging easy to open. I like the Target LED bulb. It's pretty decent. It works well on um, multiple types of dimmers that I've tested it on. It'll probably work well for you. If you um, like a bulb that is more bright white, um, <clears throat> a slight very slight greenish tint, but that may just be my particular eyes. Everyone varies as we're all different organic beings. So that's it. I do like the bulb. If you like to buy it, give it a shot. Anyways, uh, you can reach me with your questions. I love your feedback, your ideas, and so forth. Um, things for uh, additional reviews. You can email me at questions at answers.lighting. You can get us on social media. We tend to post some things sometimes between episode postings, and we'll be doing more of that as the year goes on. That's it. I'm Jody Gansig for Lighting Answers, and I will talk to you next time.